Hi, I'm Medi Ivy Harrison, and I'm here talking about another love myth that I hate that appears frequently in romance fiction and in other fiction where there is a potential romance, and it's the love myth of the love triangle. And one of the reasons I hate the love triangle is that it often turns out that there's a female character and two male characters who are ab absolutely polar opposites. One is the strong, um, you could think of him as the vampire type, who is dangerous and he's the bad boy and the other one tends to be the nice you can think of him as the werewolf type the nice guy who's the friend and you can talk to him and he's relatable and he doesn't get angry as much so you've got the good guy and the bad guy and one of the reasons I hate love triangles is that almost always the girl ends up going for the bad guy um, and I don't I'm not really sure that that's the best solution for most women to uh, be attracted to the bad guy um, but aside from that, I also think that there's a problem when people think that um, that they have to choose from totally polar opposites. Because obviously there's more than two choices in your life as a, as a woman. You can choose between many, many male options for your love um, interest. And so I don't, I don't like that. Um, another one of the problems that I don't like is that I feel like the female character is, is unable to decide what she wants. And that frustrates me because... Um, even though, yes, these are younger girls and teens sometimes, or even into their 20s, and maybe they don't know everything about life yet, I feel like they ought to be able to choose which guy they like, and if they can't choose which guy they like, then they're too young to be dating in the first place, and they should probably tell both of the guys to go and date somebody else, and find someone else who will be able to choose between them, and these girls should um, just wait until they are a little older. Um, another problem that I see with these guys is that if I actually like them, and it does sometimes happen, I'll read a romance novel, I'll like one or the other, sometimes both of them, and I find myself um, playing with the fantasy of who I could set this nice guy up with, since clearly the girl in the romance novel is not going to be somebody who <laughs> is his best choice. And so um, I will either think about girls from different novels that I've already written, or I will imagine characters from books not yet written and and think about how I could get that kind of character together with a much better choice for him. Um, most of the time though I, I want to slap both guys and tell them you know what are you thinking this is not the right girl for you you can surely find somebody better um, or you know I want to slap the girl too and tell her to stop yanking the guys around. I do understand that authors need to increase the tension in the novel and um, you can't just have the main characters fall in love um, at the very beginning without any complications. Uh, if they do, then, you know, it's not really a novel. It turns out to be a very, very short story and uh, not even a very interesting one at that. So you've got to have some kind of tension. You have to have some kind of problem. I just don't like the problem of introducing another character into the, into the romance, um, leaving you to think that, you know, the people can't decide for themselves what they want. Yes, sometimes. The girl will think that the one of the male characters, the lead, the, the one that she's most in love with, um, has died. And so then there's this tension where she um, is interested in the other one who had been a friend before. Maybe she could fall in love with him. But it does still make me think to myself, is that really what this guy wants is to be the second choice? Uh, not usually. I, I think that you can find somebody for whom you are the first choice. And that would be the best sort of love um romance that I can think of. And these love myths of the love triangle, I think, cause problems. It, it makes people act in immature ways if they imagine that they ought to be torn between two romantic leads, or or if they think that um, they're not good enough unless two guys are fighting over them, punching each other out. Um, uh, I think that's a problem in the way that we perceive romance in America today. So thank you.